I don't have any gold in my quest. Great. Okay. Shall we? Shall we go? Excellent. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is Becca. I'm, I'm today about to talk about combining Linux tools with the WordPress CLI, which stands for Command Line Interface. First, quick introduction. Uh, I work for a company called Cerabo, which is a Finland-based premium WordPress hosting company. Our core values are that we are fast, we are secure, we use green energy, and we are real, as in that you get support from real WordPress experts. As I said, best in Finland, but we are operating globally. We have around 15 employees currently, and we are sponsoring this event, so you will see us around tomorrow at the, at the booth. So come and talk to us, and let's talk web WordPress. And quickly about me, I got my first touch to WordPress in 2013. I started creating sites as a freelancer, and since 2020, right when the pandemic really hit, at least Finland, in, in March, I started working for Zeravo and I did four years of customer support. And this spring I switched into the systems team. So I work as a systems specialist, system administrator, whatever you want to call it. And this is actually my first work of talk. Let's, let's dig into the topic, the power is nothing without controls. We all have on our laptops or our smartphones, we have this amazing amount of processing power. But we may fail to utilize that efficiently. I'm going to show a simple example and I'm going to ask my colleague Miro here. Could you tell me the numbers from 1 to 5 in numerical order? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, thank you. That was an easy task for him. But if I ask Miro to repeat the same sequence a hundred times or a thousand times, he would show me the door, right? So we can do this easily, easily with the computer because these repetitive tasks they are very boring for humans. But a computer doesn't mind doing that for us. And here's an example of that exact thing that I don't want to ask Miro to do for me. Uh, we can get the computer just repeating the same sequence all over and all over again. It's not going to complain to me about that. Here are some common Linux tools that I use on a daily basis on the systems team, and I use, of course, used to do uh, the customer support. We are not going to go through all of these uh, one by one. We are going to focus on the bottom two. We are going to utilize XARCs and the pipe. I'm happy to share these slides with anyone that wants, and we can possibly make it happen some, some way, some way uh, afterwards. And to present a real-life case on how to combine these tools with each other, I need to present you Julian over here from Lisbon's WordCamp last year. This is Julian Young, and he had a problem with spam comments on his blog. He had over 30,000 spam comments. So obviously it's a problem. So he came to us, how can I get rid of these? Do I just delete them in batches of 200 in WordPress admin? Definitely not, because it's extremely inefficient. We want to utilize tools that are ready to be used and automate the whole thing for us. So we can relax and enjoy life. And this is of course, e efficient. To simulate this, I've generated 31,000 comments first, and then I mark them as spam. After that, we can get a list of, of the ID numbers of those spam comments, and then do whatever we want to do with them. In this case, delete them. Here are some commands to achieve this. First, we generate, then we pass them to XARGs, which can then run WV comment spam. And we're going to use a similar kind of command in the next 
section. Here is the list, but this is uh, it's not very human friendly to read. But it's machine readable, so we can pass this to another command called wp comment delete. And at this point, I want to give a shout out to Miguel over there. He's the one who told me how to how to use XARCs. So this is why WordCamps are about uh, sharing knowledge, sh sharing your expertise. Right here, we have the magical command that I typed on Julian's laptop and let him press the enter button. <laughs> and he was quite happy to see this starting. I don't have the whole sequence here on the, on the GIF, but once this started rolling on his screen, uh, he has my respect. <laughs> In conclusion, with the WordPress CLI, we can execute tasks that we simply can't do in the WordPress admin. Or otherwise, we can, we can execute tasks that would be extremely slow to do in WordPress admin. And once, um, actually, yeah, the, here's an example too. You can, for example, recover your site if you have a plugin clash with your PHP version or something. You click the update button and oops, fatal error. There's no way to fix that from WordPress admin. So we can just tell the CLI to, so let's deactivate the plugin that says no. And we don't want to run the plugin code that's faulty at the moment. So we can just tell WordPress to skip plugins. That way our site is back up and we can continue the investigation in staging environment or whatever. And once you combine these tools, you simply gain superpowers to administrate in WordPress. Always, of course, study the develop developer documentation because the solution that you're looking for is most likely there. Here's a link to that as well. And here's a screen cap on possible subcommands for the WPCLI. There's so many stuff. We used comment in the example, in, the, in Julia's case. We have the export tools, import tools, uh, managing plugins, themes, all kinds of stuff. And explanations for these can be can be found from the dev docs. And I'm very happy to talk about anything WordPress. You can catch me by email or from the way to make a WordPress Slack or um, also Instagram if you like. You should maybe take a photo of this if you want to follow me. It's a little bit difficult difficult work, work but I suppose. And we are coming up on 10 minutes, so it's time to say kitos, obrigado, and thank you.